they're not gonna really be able to take him down. Look at Popo though. See, oh Dublin, God. look at the movement coming in from Onyx Esports. They're going in onto the Lord while simultaneously going in. This might be a mistake, but Kyrie is able to get out. CW caught in the midst of it all. Has the sprint. Meanwhile, the Lord was taken low, and man, that was beautiful by Onyx Esports. Well, Retribution Albert. again. Beautiful. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Onyx Esports, the macro geniuses. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. That was astonishing. That could have ended really badly. That was a huge risk. If Onyx Esports weren't able to implement or execute that to perfection, they would have lost Beautiful. the game, Mirko. Oh if CW God. was taken down, that would have been RRQ's game to win. But now, Onyx Esports have been able to bait Albert out, bait RRQ Hoshi out to the top side, wow, take wow, wow, wow. the neutral objective in that Lord, knowing that if it goes 5v5, they wouldn't be able to get it out. And this is just Insane. 400 right IQ. 400 IQ, man. They pull oh, Araki Hoshi away. No, Skyler, Kyrie in the back lines. Albert gonna get bite, bitten by the Koopa. Stunned up. Immortality taken down. R7 goes in for the knockout strike. Trying to peel for Albert, but Kyrie jumps in on the base. Buying so much time with the cables once again. All they need to do is target the base right here. CW going for it. Immortality's popping all across the board, but CW is going for the base. It's a clutch, clutch defense. Bonotic, the macro prowess combined with the micro. Perfect combination seals the deal. What a performance by Onyx Esports. Magnificent 2-0 clean sweep. 2-0 clean sweep. Mirko, Arashi, this is huge. Goosebumps. For the past times that RRQ Hoshi have met Onyx in the Royal Derby, it was always RRQ Hoshi who won it. Only one time did Ana Esports take the game, but this time with Keyboy, wow. with Drian, and no lemon. Destroying the defending Season 9 champions like it's nothing.